Good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Lucretia. I have been asked to do um, some learning videos, so I'm just going to go ahead and start where I started. So for me, we're, today we're going to work on little circles and learning a pattern design to put into the circle. These are future ones that I kind of keep all my circles and patterns that I do on paper and I'll keep them for later inspiration that in case I go blank on a blank page or something I'll just use them for inspiration and these are some of the shapes eventually you'll get to the point where you'll be able to you know draw more flair more art design I call myself a uh, zen doodler I like to have a little flair but it's also very relaxing for me these are just some of my older designs and then I have a couple of my newer designs in here just a little bit of my style so that you can see I like a little bit of harder lines with softer lines I think that's just a uh, part of me uh, not soft and flowery but a uh, little bit of harder lines I don't know how to explain it uh, I like a lot of steampunk which is old century with new century so I kind of think a lot of my art kind of goes that direction but today we're going to go ahead and get started i'm going to basically show you what you need for just basic getting started any kind of scrap paper will work like these are just old scrap papers that i had and i cut them into small little squares so that maybe it's not a little overwhelming for you um, you want any kind of pens like sharpie pens are a good starter and pencils and some kind of eraser i like to use the white erasers only just because the colored erasers sometimes they'll get on your art project and you can't get it off so white is the safest to me um, anything for circles so for me i used my compass you can also use some lids any kind shape i get a like a variety size of lids to get started with so that you can have a little variety you can also use like the little marble stones i found these at the dollar store little rocks outside doesn't have to be perfect circles any kind of shape will work can lids different sizes there's so many things that you can use i also have you know little basic plastic little circles here you can also do little ones that I found at a secondhand store for kids there's so many different things that you can use other things I like to use with my pencil is just my shader and I have a huge variety of pens that I like to use this is also a really good one these are spectrum art liners and they come in a variety of sizes that way you can kind of play with size and thickness of your ink I also like the jelly roll pins the white ones especially for your highlighting another thing I like to use too and I found this at the dollar store is poster tack and this way it can hold down your piece of paper for you without any issues of sticking to your surface it's sticky this way but it doesn't stick to your surface so it's removable without tearing up your piece of paper and that goes a really long way because they're reusable for a very long time so let's go ahead and get started get yourself a piece of paper handy and we'll get started all right everyone here we are we have a piece of paper and I went ahead and grabbed the stone that's not a complete circle it's more like a good cross between a circle and an oval shape and a pencil we'll start with a pencil today but eventually you're going to have to get past that whole pencil stage and dig in with the pen that fear of making a mistake and we will learn that in future videos because i'll be teaching you how to fix those because believe it or not we all make mistakes but you can also fix them into a whole different design so let's get started so basically just put your stone down and i want you to trace this circle however you want on your page on your little piece of paper and for me I just 
do a bunch of different ones, leaving a little space in between. I'll just leave that blank here. We'll just draw another one here. And I'll just have everybody draw about at least six circles. There we go. Once you have it to this point, you can basically, we're going to just do this design today. And I'm going to go ahead and show you. We're going to show it over here without the circle. And you're just going to make a circle, making a swirly mark all the way around. That's it. Now I want you to do that circle in a circle and we'll start here in the center and we're just going to swirl it around until you hit the edge of that paper. Edge of the circle, I'm sorry. There we go. So see it's not perfect. I have little squiggly marks. Nothing's perfect. It's just the way I did it. And you're just going to keep practicing that. Once you've done a couple of those circles, you can add more lines in. You can even start super small. Work your way out. Take your time if you want. Go bigger until you hit the edge of the circle and just stop. Then if you want, you could start at the top doing your swirl. Same swirl. And you just keep circling. And now I'm going to hit that top line of that circle. Then I'm going to start over here just as if I was continuing it. Lightly touch that paper and start where the blank spot starts. Then pretend you're doing the same thing and start up at the top corner of that. Just as if you were drawing it and give it a little space and draw another line over. And see how it's just kind of line, line. We're going to do it again. Into a curved corner. And a curved corner. Now you basically have done this shape. Into this shape. Now in this one, we're going to do this on this direction. We're going to slowly start a small doodle. Then we're going to slowly start another doodle. And then if you want, you can continue. So here we're stopping like we did on here. We're stopping at the edge of that. We're going to start in the middle of those two circles there. And we're going to add another line on that as if this swirl is continuing. And you could do the same over here if you want and draw a curve and let that finish over here. Now you have two of them. Then you can start another one. And then if you want to continue starting over here, we're continuing this one. You start over here and then you finish over here. And if you want to continue that one, you can just continue that circle. Now you have three. Then, for our last little circle, we're just going to do little swirlies. There's one. Then right next to it, we're going to start another one. Then down in the center of those two, we will start another one until they connect. And then just keep doing that throughout this circle, wherever you want. Me, I go in between the two just to kind of connect the two in between. And just continue. Now see these little blank spaces? You can either fill them in if you want. And this is how I got started. And as many times as you can possibly do this, you're getting comfortable with that design. So this is the pattern that we're getting used to today. Because once you start dueling that pattern over and over, it will become like drawing your name drawing a straight line, 
you'll eventually learn that it just becomes second hand. So practicing a pattern over and over and over may seem crazy, but that's how you learn your pattern and get comfortable with it. So we have started from a basic swirl clear down to you're creating a design different from each other with the same swirl. Now we'll start one down here of what you can do with that swirl. I'm just going to draw another one. So we're going to do a big swirl. I'm going to totally just swirl it however. In here I'm just going to draw little lines. Straight lines following the swirl. And I'll just keep going until I hit the very last part. See how you can change your pattern? Swirls, they're all pretty much the same. You just add to each design that you get. You'll end up learning that you can just keep changing those patterns to something different just by simply adding to it. I mean here we're just going to simply add little half circles, little flower pattern. And I'll keep going until I get to the end. There you go. So I just call this a swirl pattern. So a little homework for you to practice before you sit and want to just keep going on this. I would do a whole page of circles, an entire page of circles. Like I'll give you an example, squares or circles, ovals. Make yourself some copies of these. Don't worry about mistakes. It's practice and keep practicing until you have that design and think of the many different ways that you can put those swirls into your patterns make it look different and you'll find that that is where your artistic part of it starts flowing you're getting creative all people are different all people draw different all people create different like different things this is how you get started just let your mind flow and do what you want to do. Let your hands guide you. Don't fight it. Just do it. Practice, practice, practice. That's what makes perfect. And get comfortable with your own designs and patterns and create what you want to create. And this is how to get started. You guys, I wish you luck and see you on the next lesson.